With just one prompt, you can write a whole research paper with this magical AI tool called Thesis AI. I just discovered this a couple of weeks ago and I have not been blown away by an AI tool in a very long time and you guys know I try a lot of them. This is the world's first AI tool that uses just one prompt, just one prompt. You submit your research papers and it gives you a full scientific document that's unique, that's tailored to your research research question and then you can edit it and make it your own. Not only does it look through the research papers that you have imported, you can then export the document for manual editing and it creates a full citation list for you. I was so excited to try this tool. I have this folder, I'm going to drag and drop all of my papers in. It's really, really easy. You can upload up to 100 PDF reference papers, so that's quite a lot. As you can see, I have 25 of them. Before you click on upload, you want to select the different styles that you want for your output, your end product. The citation style that I'm using is going to be Harvard, um, but you have got other options here as well. You can also change the citation level, so you can either choose paper or page. If you choose page, then it will include the page that that information has come from, which is absolutely this is mind-blowing. I'm so shocked. Um, or if you choose paper, then it will just reference the specific paper that it has used, but not the exact page. So knowing the page would be useful for if you want to then go ahead and read into it a little bit more. So anyway, I've put all my papers in. I'm now going to press upload. And this is where the magic happens. I am so excited to see what happens here. So um, it's uploaded everything. And it says that now you want to give a short description of your topic. I'm going to say how how does climate change impact biodiversity? You can give more detail here. So you can say something like, um, I want three sections, I want six chapters, I want a literature review, or you can give a bit more detail here as much as you want, but that one prompt is all that you need. I'm going to keep it quite simple because I want to see what the platform will do with a very basic, simple question. And now it's saying that I need 30 minutes to wait. So I'm going to come back to you in 30 minutes. I'm really, really anticipating what this is going to look like. Um, I've, I've got high hopes. Okay, I'm back. And guys, it was less than 30 minutes. It was probably like... 13 or 14 minutes like it was really really quick I was expecting to go I was getting ready to go to the gym and come back and for it to be ready but actually it's been really really quick so now it says that I can export it to Overleaf so the great thing about Thesis AI is that it's not just giving you a document that you now just have to you're copying and pasting because of course that's something that isn't ethical and I wouldn't recommend that you do you can now and you should now edit and work on the document. So I can edit it at the code level or I can edit using the visual editor and the visual editor gives me a, a much more like you know much more user-friendly like Microsoft Word looking uh, visual edit. So it's loaded now on the right hand side and wow it has 86 pages. That is more than it promised. <laughs> They promised 50 pages. I've got 86 pages. Wow. Okay. So, so far it's looking very good. Just from the contents page, I've got an introduction, climate change and biodiversity, mechanisms, impact, and then I have subchapters as well. It's structurally and formatted very, very well. This looks just like what my PhD thesis looked like. Broken down amazingly as well. References all throughout correct correct formats as well of the references. And then let's go here to the left-hand side. So I want to now edit this document. So the right-hand side is the final document um, that you can download as a PDF. And the left-hand side here is my visual editor. So here I can completely alter everything that's there. So I can delete, um, add to it. And I definitely recommend that you do this. So when you uh, get your document, you want to make sure that you're going through it and checking everything and um, making it sound more personal and making it, you can add your own references to it. You can add your own bits of information to it as well. It's given you like a really, really solid um, document to even begin working from. Um, on the left-hand side here, you can see the file outline. So this is where it's kind of breaking down each of the chapters for you so you can see like each of the main chapters and then the subheadings and then like the even kind of smaller um, sub chapters as well so you can change this and make this different if you would like to change the outline as well um, you also have the appendix the glossary references this is so so good now once you're happy with 
how it looks you can now download it and you can see that i have my pdf just like that it literally took 13 minutes 25 references and one prompt ai has come such a long way now i'm going to go back to overleaf which is where you are making all the edits and the changes um, and you can see that there's a few other things that you can do as well so this is great for sharing and collaborating so you're able to share with anyone else in your team um, make them an editor as well which i think is really fantastic especially if you're working with somebody else to um, to create some sort of document or or research paper um, you can also see the changes the edits and overleaf is is like microsoft word like it's a it's a text editor so it's it's great for being able to collaborate and write anything um, more long term okay i want to just do something a little bit cheeky and compare thesis ai to chat gpt this is like you know the og the platform that we were all using from the beginning the one that i have never recommended for academia um, but let me just see so i'm saying that i'm writing a literature review for this question how does climate change impact biodiversity give me the introduction paragraph and an outline for this review i already know that it's not going to be able to look at all the papers that I have that I gave thesis AI. So we're already at a disadvantage. Um, it's going to be just giving me quite general information with no citations. So you can see here, yes, I've got a paragraph. There's not a single citation. Let's compare to the introduction paragraph here. I have references. I have like the gap in literature. I have quite a good understanding of um, what the problem is in this area. But if I look at the chat GPT one, like it's just so generalized and it just is not academically viable at all. And then it's given me an outline for the literature review is saying okay introduction direct impacts indirect impacts uh, adaptive responses like there's nothing really technical here it's just very very general it's very very basic um, and I think if you're writing for an academic audience it needs to be a lot more detailed like this where you're including like mechanisms and uh, different kind of characteristics of like the sea and biodiversity genetic species it's not even technical at all I, I feel a lot more confident having this and then even if you had this summary outline, you now have to go and find research papers. So it's not even like it's done or helped me at all or done any kind of work. And even if I were to ask it for re references, a lot of the citations that it gives you are fake. So you can't even trust it. So I wouldn't even want to begin. Uh, I'm really impressed by Thesis AI. Like I said, I'm trying it out for the first time and I'm so wowed by the quality of the output considering we're just importing papers, one single prompt, giving it less than 30 minutes, and it's able to generate a very, very well-written academic text that is supported by literature. The whole process was also super easy. It's just a really easy user-friendly interface that just does this one thing with this one prompt. And um, they have kindly given me a discount code. If you use the discount code Amina20, you do get an extra percent off. I'll leave the link down below to try Thesis AI. In the past two and a half, three years, I've tried a number of AI tools and not one of them has given me this output before. So I am very, very impressed. I just want to give caution as to how to use a tool like this. Of course, I I wouldn't be recommending you to use something that you would just take and copy and paste and not actually do the thinking. You still need to be quite proactive with your research. So you want to, of course, find your research papers, identify your gap in literature. That isn't something that Thesis AI can do for you. Find your gap in literature, identify your papers, download your papers, even read your papers. And then you can use Thesis AI to generate this perfect um, research paper or research article for you, which you can then use to help your understanding, bring your ideas together and giving you inspiration for how to write. Um, and of course, you can edit what you've been given on Overleaf anyway. So you always have the option of making it your own and making it personalized so you're not caught out by AI detection. I really hope that you found this video useful and I hope that I've introduced you to a brand new tool that you probably have not heard of before. Um, like I said, link will be down below in the description. Go and check it out. Let me know if you try it. I think you'll be really impressed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.